Before you call them friend, gotta prove them first Cause they're really loyalty when you're at your worst We need to hit it raw like the wire You're looking for some truth, I'll supply it If you want it too soft, this ain't deal You gon' choose a law of a sin This just some uncut gems This just some uncut gems We was diamonds in the dirt just grinding in the turf, our mama go berserk, trying to keep from riding the hearse. Now we lines in the work, sons of Zion, we the church. Different color fringes is looking, vibrant on my shirt, and time lying in the dirt. I pray to be a fire hydrant with this word, like a geyser on the curb. What's up, bro? You got a question? Yeah, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, what's up, bro? What you with? <laughs> me. about that like you know in Europe they got like imagery imagery of us right yeah. if you know about the Pope you know they bow themselves down to a, a, a black version of Christ exactly. right. now the bigger question is why are we worshiping this thing right why are we worshiping this right. let me show you something give me uh, Deuteronomy 28 verse 64 let me show you something this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 64 and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, yeah. from the one end of the earth even unto the other, yeah. and there thou shalt serve other gods. So what? There thou shalt serve other gods, yeah, go ahead. which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. So the Bible says, right? We are teaching the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that we the Israelites. There's a reason why we go through what we go through. There's a reason why there's a lack of representation of us. There's a reason why we're at the bottom, right? And it's due to these curses. One of these curses say you're going to be scattered into all the lands because you know we damn near everywhere, right? Right, we're going to be scattered into all the lands. In those places, you're going to serve another god. So, what is the mechanism that brought us to these other lands? Slave ship, right? Watch this. Go to verse sixty-eight. Verse sixty-eight. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So he's talking to Israelites. The Lord's going to bring you into Egypt again. What happened to the Israelites in Egypt? Slavery. Right? You don't need a, you don't need a boat to go from e from, from Egypt to Israel. Right. So this is talking about something else. Even in uh, chapter 17, it says we wouldn't see that slavery again anymore in right. Egypt. Right. So this is talking about another Egypt. Watch this. It says, and the Lord shall Revelation bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. That's the mechanism of how we got to other places. Right. Right. And in the other places, we're going to serve other gods. That's why we serve a white Christ. All of this cannot be a coincidence. We have to be God's chosen people. We have to fit this because those people over there with them small hats on, they not fit in this. Watch this. Go ahead. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, yeah. thou shalt see it no more again. Yeah. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. We shall be what? Sold unto your enemies. What are we sold? Everywhere. Watch this. Go ahead. For bond men and bond women. For bond men and bond women. So watch. Let me let me qualify this Egypt thing one more time. Give me this in, in Revelation 11. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 11, verse 8. Bring it out. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, yeah. which spiritually 
It's called Sodom. Spiritually, it's called Sodom. And watch this. And Egypt. So the place where the Israelites were going to be at and dwell at is a place that's spiritually Egypt, like we just read in Deuteronomy 20 and 68, and spiritually Sodom. Now, Sodom. What happened to Sodom? Hom homosexuality. Where do, you, where do you see it propagated and greater than, no, greater than America? Nobody does that. So it's in the place y'all gonna go, sodomy, homosexuality is gonna be there, and it's gonna be a captivity to you. So what does that what does that sound like? That sounds like us. That don't sound like nobody else, man. That's what we heard it's like all like let me show you one more. Give me Isaiah 42. I love this one. Right? Because all the ones I'm reading, this all can't be no coincidence. Everything we read about Israelites, of things that's gonna happen to Israelites, we never see happening to those people. Well, you see it happening to us all the time. Book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Yeah. They are all of them snared in hoes. Yeah. And they are hid in prison houses. So Israelites are going to be hid where? In prison houses. Where do you find these people at? In the jail houses. It says you must go in jail houses. You'll be scattered to different places. You're going to serve other gods. Wood and stone, right? We, we our people served the, 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 the wooden cross. They also served that big ass rock and becker, right? We're gonna go on slave ships into a Egypt, a place that's spiritually Egypt, spiritually Sodom. You're gonna be here in prison houses. Who whose story does that sound like? That's why Moses was yeah. mad too in Ephesians. He was mad. He's talking about bro, get these people. You mean you mean, you mean Exodus? Exodus. They kept complaining. They kept complaining. They complaining about not having no food. That's all Israel's ever done is complain. Right. And, and, and who did <laughs> and, and when I read it, that's all I think about. That's all I think about. Oh, that's cool. What, what is that supposed to uh, be? to the 28 verse 15 but it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God hearken means listen like if the Israelites don't listen to God to observe to do all his commandments yeah. and his statutes yeah. which I command thee this day yeah. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. generational curses in the Bible if we don't listen to God and keep his commandments, all these curses will come upon us and overtake us. Now go to 50, 54. 54, verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you. Yeah, we used to be brotherly. Right. Like, and it used to be to where, like, you see another black man, I'm about to mug him, right? I'm not about to, I'm not, I'm about to look at him a certain type of way and see what I can get up out of him. Right? We, didn't used, to, we used to be tender to each other. Hey, what's up? Yeah, like, we was chill. Watch it, go ahead. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. His eyes shall be evil toward, that's the curse. That's a generational curse. Since we don't listen to God, we now hate each other, right? And watch this, there's more. And toward the wife of his bosom. 
And towards the wife, go ahead. And toward the remnant of his children. Then he shall what? Which he shall leave. Then he shall what? Which, Which he, he shall, shall leave. leave. You see that? You see that? How this all this can't be no coincidence, bro. We gotta we have to be these people. There's no there's no like like if we don't have this, I'm gonna be honest. If, if we're not these people, there's no hope for black people. There's no hope for Hispanic people or, or Native Americans. We're, we're done. We're finished. This is who we are. So what we have to do is keep these commandments, bro. Follow us, man. Look, tap in the class, bro. Do all that, bro. Because I really, I'm trying to really take it to a whole new level, and I'm, I'm right there. So and that's how you do it. Then for me, it's like I didn't experience it on the highest level. Like, you know, that's like the NFL, bro. I mean, uh, I want to ask this question, but I want, I want to show you one thing real fast, right? You're talking about taking it to a new level, right? Now, when you deal with the Bible and the children of Israel, we don't get to take it to another level individually. There isn't, there isn't a, you get to do it. Because even as much money, like say you make millions of dollars, these people are making trillions, Googles of like, the, whatever the, the, the monetary version of the, the number Google is, right? They're making that. Like, they don't even worry about looking at their bank accounts. You're really getting pennies. All of our people are getting pennies, right? For us to take it to a new, le new level, let me show you how we do that. Let's start. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently mm -hmm. unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, yeah. which I command in this day, yeah. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So all we got to do is start listening to God as a people, bro. When enough of us start doing that, the Lord's going to save us up out of this place, man. That's all we have to do. That's why we are here doing this every week. We've been doing this every week for years, man. And this is, we've been getting steady, steady growth. And eventually, the Lord is going to see enough of this and save us as a nation. That's how we get on a new level. There's no other way. That's the only, that's what God said. It's like, you know what you've seen, uh, you ever watch WWE growing up? You know what I'm saying? That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line because the Lord says so. That's right. That's what it is. That's what it is, man. That's all we got to do, bro. I'm going to stay What team do you play for? I play for the Eagles. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Go Birds, man. That's my team. That's great. Well, yeah, hey, no, see how he's searching for truth now? That's right. That's you see, what, you see, that's what they do to you, man. That's what they do to you, man. But yeah, man. What you got? Get your precepts. Hey, where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Okay. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. That's, a, that's what you got to do on earth. Fear God and keep his commandments. Watch this. For this is the whole duty of men. That's your duty. That's your duty. You know now. It, there's a, there's an I get to walk around and be ignorant. The Lord saw you hear this. So it's it's on you to, to start walking after him. And this these commandments, Genesis to Deuteronomy. I walk after him, but I need yeah, I need a I need a brotherhood. That's That's right. That's what I'm here to give, man. That's what I'm here to give, man. State like I got my number on there, I got email, YouTube, IG, all that. That's what we do, man. Stay up, bro. be safe. Go birds too, man. With that, I'm gonna say call hello, Yahweh, Ba Shum, Yahweh Shah. This is Shalom. Hey,